What's your emergency? My son is missing. He hasn't come home. Okay, what's his name? Eric. His name is Eric Hall. Okay, how old is he? 18 years old. He should have been home by now. Please, this isn't normal. Since when hasn't he been home? He left this morning for Riverstown High School and he, he was supposed to meet with friends afterward to watch a match and in the late afternoon, but he wasn't there. Okay, his friends didn't see him at the match, is that it? Yes, th they didn't see him after school. Okay, is it possible he went out with other friends, ma'am? No, no, he, he was eager to watch the match with them. He never missed one. Okay, maybe he changed plans at the last minute. Does your son have a girlfriend, ma'am? I, I don't know. Why are you asking me that? My son is missing. I'm telling you, something is wrong. Listen, ma'am, it's too early to think it might be a disappearance. It's... But listen to me. Ma'am, he's a young adult, so there's a good chance he just went out to have some fun. Damn it, I know my son. He would never have gone out so late without telling me in advance. I understand your concern, but unfortunately there's no evidence to suggest your son is in danger. The best... You're not listening to me. Ma'am, the best thing for now is for you to wait 24 hours before reporting his disappearance. 24 hours? I'm not going to wait 24 hours. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll have to hang up. No, wait, sir. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another indie horror game. This is Forbidden Tapes Missing. Uh, this game consists of three different horror stories, and I believe this demo is probably the prologue or precursor to those games called Missing. Um, yeah, there wasn't really much of a main title screen. It just kind of jumped into the um, uh, the call there with a the mother, um, and I didn't get to see the football. Lads, lads, lads. Footy, footy, footy. Um, so, yeah, here we are uh, in our in our little room. Let's have a look, shall we? Hello, Eric. You're... Can I... Hang on. Can I grab that? Not no. I need to stay calm. Oh, that's at the door. Um, you're probably wondering where you are right now. It must not be very this pleasant. This is a fucking joke. I understand. But I assure you, it will be worth it. So don't worry. All of this will be explained to you as soon as everything is ready. It's not much, but I've left you something to snack on in the meantime. Hmm. Would would you trust the food and the water in a place like this? We've just woken up in a cell with TV. Let's have a look. I mean, it's an apple and a bit of bread, but something could have been injected into that apple. We've so, we've seen Snow White. We know what's going on here. Yum yum yum. I was about to say, did I just eat the plate as well? And what do we have here? Oh, oh no. Yeah, we're going to just put that down. We don't really I'm need that. Thirsty. No, no, I wouldn't trust drinking whatever was in that plastic bottle. Uh, anything on the tube? Galactus. Um, seems to be a note on here. Is that just... Dear Gamer, a little message to thank you for trying this... <laughs> okay, which is actually the prologue to the first episode of Forbidden Tapes. Uh, yeah, I apologize in advance if you counter any bugs during your playthrough. Well, there you go. Uh, we do have a vent over here. But we can't seem to interact with it. We can hear the... Oh, they could be blowing some kind of noxious gas into this room. And we have... A what camera. What the hell is going on? And the little eye symbol. Hmm. Well, Eric, my friend, I believe you've been kidnapped. What purpose, we don't know... Just yet. Is someone coming towards the door? Hello? Please, is there anyone there? Well, we can definitely hear someone out there. And now there's ominous music playing. Maybe there's something... Oh. So it's 1986 as well. Okay. We 
know, slowly panning out. As probably an observer of Eric, um, what would be really good now if we panned out and there were multiple TV screens with multiple pin people being kidnapped. I don't think we're getting out of this room by our ourselves. There doesn't seem to be any lockpicks or any kind of items that I can interact with that would give me the ability to leave this room. So I guess we'll just go back to sleep. You know? Can't do much. Sleepy times. Nap nap times. Oh. And we are back in control. Has something changed? Has something been left for me in this room? There's no more food. I'm not drinking that water. Oh, the lights have gone out. Oh, the TV's on. Hello, Eric. Hello, mysterious man. Are you so them well? As well as can be. Don't get too accustomed. Oh, thanks. I'm going to try and give you the opportunity to leave here. Hmm. You have been selected for this experiment. Oh boy! Maybe this word scares you. Eh. Uh. Rather, think of it as a TV game show. Where you're a lucky contestant. So I've won a prize? Is that what you're telling me? In a way. The first person to discover this place as it is currently arranged. Oh, you haven't set up some death traps for me, have you? Floors, thanks to you. And I'll be able to correct them. Oh dear. The door is now open. Ah! I'm giving you a chance to leave, so explore this place. Observe. Look for a way to access your freedom. Will do, strange guy. G-Man. Okay, so the door's open. So, yeah. Maybe I'll just stay in this room now then, because that doesn't seem very good. The way he's talking about that he's arranged this place... Makes me think very sore like escapades are in store for me. Hmm. Well, it seems very dark. So the first thing I will be trying when we're back in control is whether I have a flashlight. I don't think I've got it stuffed down my Jim Jams, but you never know. Yeah, I think there are other people that have been trapped in here with me. Keep hope. Ah, well at least, oh, there's a key here. Yoink. Well, thanks for that. Do I have an inventory? No, the tab actually makes you sort of <laughs> lean to the left, which is fun. More cameras down here. Quite maze-like. Oh, oh, I don't like that. Don't like this in the slightest. That does look like just paint, though. So let's just assume that's paint for the time being. Uh, oh. There are a lot of hallways here, but um, let's just try this first of all. Yeah, very maze-like. I'm hoping that nothing is going to be chasing me down this way, because I will be- I'm already lost. I'm already feeling very lost here. We've got another room. These traces. Was there someone else before me? Was that Eric's voice? Am I playing someone else now? Traces. I'm assuming those are footsteps. Um, what have we got here? Okay, something's missing here. An actual- f is it the actual fuse box itself? It just looks like a hole in the wall. Okay. Well, that's something. Right, let's head back. Hey. Giving me those noises. It doesn't appear to be a stamina bar, which is good. So, let's go right. We didn't go down this way, did we? Checking the door. Did I open that? No, I didn't. Ah. Huh. Mabel Market? Mabel Market. It's the store at the outskirts of town. What is going on here? Am I... Hmm. Special offer. 50% off all water bottles. 
Oh, I didn't drink that water in the room, though, did I? Maybe that was for the best. Maybe I, th I think I made the right decision there. Hmm. More doors. Let's just check out this room first before we go searching any further. Um, I mean, uh, it's always mannequins, isn't it? It's always mannequins. Right, so I have to find some money to pay for this? Is that what you're telling me? There is an e exit here. But I do not trust this room at all. We're just going to, um... Okay, okay. Let's go explore down the other side here. Come back later. Ah. Well, this doesn't look foreboding at all. So, right, we found the blue water, the greenhouse, yellow, um, awesome grey tree? Is that... okay, that's not really telling me much. Nothing in a drawer. Well, we've got a new room to explore, and it's not coated with grey walls, so that's something. Ah. And what are you reading there, my friend? The Daily Report. Intensive search for a serial killer in Oregon. The Cascades National Park. There does seem to be... things wiped out here. Each of the disappearances seems to be closely linked to the number something. An obsession that appears to drive the killer. Investigators have noted several troubling patterns. The first victim dis disappeared on January blank. The record had a reservation in room blank of the Crystal Lodge. The room where the victim was last seen, so on. The number some blank is also found scribbled at the crime scenes, adding to the chilling. I haven't seen any. I haven't seen any um, numbers yet. We have a picture. Multiple cameras. And is this milk? Ah. Oh, no, come back here. Find the year of birth. Add the two numbers found. Alright, so we've got the date of birth. 19, find his year of birth. Add the two numbers found. Okay. What well, was, oh, was it 1984? Well, that was obviously, we don't, he was 18 years old, right? If this is, if I'm playing as Eric... Didn't tell the, the maths questions in here. Right. What do we have here? A safe. Oh, man. And some more water. Groovy. Let's just... Mannequin in the wardrobe. Why not? And locked door. And table over here. Ah. Observe, reflect. I can't read that at all. Um, four unique rooms make up this area. Each one holds a number that you will have to guess. Observe carefully what surrounds you. Every detail is important. Okay. That's a key to last mariachi. Well, oh, I can take the book. Okay. Just check the other drawers as well. So that had, like, two little slots in it at the back of the book. And I'm... Am I meant to trade you? No. No trading going on. Well, there are quite a few numbers dotted around here. I don't think I'm observing very well. What am I meant to do with this book? I haven't seen it anywhere. Um, hmm.
Now there's someone actually in the room. Hey. Hey. We need to get out of here. Hey. Hey. Can you hear me? We need to get we out of here. Find a way out quickly. I don't think this is going to be someone who I'm Damn going to be it. friendly with. I don't want that person's got that they're secretively, furtively keeping hold there, but it's, um... Right, so the book... Although the book has the two... It really opened uh, the door. Yes, it did. Seriously. A key could have easily sufficed. Hmm. Are you still in there, my friend? You still... No, you're gone. Oh, you're going through... Oh, God, you're going through the vents. I just saw... <laughs> Alrighty. Don't be peeking out at me at certain points. I don't like that at all. Uh, what have we got? What have, what have you got for me here, my friend? Uh, traverse the great dark city. Among the many paths it offers you, find the one that will lead you to a portal of destiny, revealing once opened a dazzling light or an enchanting shadow. The old lady whispered to him, staring with a blank gaze at a meaningless painting. The correct order will open the way for you. Interesting. So, right, okay, we've got a, we've got a painting puzzle. And some cables. Yeah, you're gonna come you're gonna come out of there, aren't you? So we've got the magician over here. Oh. There's a switch under the paneling, is that what you're telling me? Okay. Um can I move you? I can. Okay. So I need to get these in or ah, sorry, what did that do? Paintings are all rigged up. I'm assuming. Did that do anything? I guess we'll find out when we find more paintings. Um, oh, and chess. Wow. Find the two remaining pieces. Add their values. Okay. Bishop, knight, bishop, rook, king. Well, the queen's missing. Pawn's missing. Is that... I guess I'm gonna... There's a lot to, um... Hang on. So we had a mysterious... I don't know what order these are meant to be in. Hi there. How are you? Are you fine? Good. How do I know what order they're gonna be in? Was there something on that note, probably, that gave me... Traverse the great dark city. Among the many paths it offers you, find the one that will lead you to a portal of destiny, revealing once opened a dazzling light or an enchanting shadow. So, great dark city. Let's turn this back off first, because we have to do this in order. That is not a great dark city. Okay. We're missing a painting, aren't we? And I'm assuming they... Is, I mean, is that the dark city? would tell me if there's another painting somewhere that I just I've missed out of you, you know hmm ah that's got to be the city right all right city dark city and then I guess door So I'm assuming then the maze, then the door, then the portal. Hey. Not just a hat rack, my friend. Not just a hat rack. It's very dark in there. Okay. I do feel like I should probably go back and open the safe somehow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What do we got here? We got symbols. Let's go into this room. Our friend that we found in the other room, I'm assuming, is scuttling around in the vents. John McLean in it. Uh, the Echo Tribune. Capture of Blake Frazier. 
The state of Oregon is breathing a little easier today after the arrest of Blake Frazier, the serial killer responsible for a dozen gruesome murders. Frazier, apprehended by law enforcement last month, has finally began to cooperate with the police, revealing the locations of his victims' bodies, thanks to the efforts of his psychiatrist, Dr. Warren McNeil. Blake Frazier, 34 years old, is accused of brutally, brutally murdering a dozen people over the past three years. His victims, chosen at random, were killed in gruesome conditions according to the killer's revelations. I'm not seeing anything here about numbers. Ah, that's 1973, but I need to find a date of birth for that girl. What have we got here? Oh my. 10, 20, 30, 40. Am I adding these up? I wish I could take the notes with me. And we have some water locked in cages. Hmm. I haven't found any chessboard pieces yet as well. Oh, that, that opens. Okay, okay. Okay, let's take this one step at a time, shall we? Don't like that. Where our little grubby person's been coming in and going out. Um, that's locked. Okay. I think we can try this puzzle here. So, we're here. So the first... I mean, okay, so the first pillar. Right. This would be the first pillar outside the door. So, what am I meant to do here? I meant to add up the numbers. I may have to make notes of these. So, if I'm looking at this logically. 10 has just one vertical line down it. 2, obviously, you've got the 2 there. 3, right, and the 4 makes a square. So, if you're saying that the first. I, I get you. Right, I get you. So, I need to find the next. So, if I'm in that room, first pillar was there. i got to just go across three pillars from this one. So, one, two... That doesn't... Mm, I don't know if this is the right pillar or not. The little sketch doesn't really... Can I just not take this with me? Why can't I take the note with me? Right, it's the second column from the furthest, second one, furthest away, okay, from the wall. So, that would be this one. Why am I breathing so heavy? So, that's another... That's two again. I think. Well, I could be very wrong here. Then we want the two pillars round the order there. So out of the one facing me, one away. Okay, let's try this out. Let's try this out. Hey. Oh. Hello. I better keep going. You're not gonna eat me, are you? You just you stay away from me. Alright. You stay the hell away from me. Ah, oh, more mannequins. Ah, oh, you got a little baby head mannequin there. Um, right, so which was it? It was, um, that's... Hmm. So that's going to be one. And then this is going to be two again. I think. Right. So, I've got the... I don't know, is there somewhere where I need to input the numbers into? And the stinky child is gone. Good. Just want to make sure I got that right. Listen, are you a friend or are you a foe? You're creeping the, me the fuck out, Bo. Don't chase me. 
vehicle. I can't go down this way now until you disappear. Right. You still there? Oh no, 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 no. Well, at least we found out that she's not a friend. Uh, so we will have someone chasing us throughout this. I knew that was going to happen. I knew she was... Uh, she's just a little girl. We could kick her in the face. I've got legs. She's smaller than me. This starts all the way back from the beginning? Or am I... Oh, come on. Really? So we have to avoid the little stinky girl. Okay, I get that. No. No. Oh, god damn it. No. No. Run away. Run away. I want to go back to the original room that I was in to try the uh, safe puzzle. Um, I think I figured out the numbers. Figured out the... I'm assuming once we open the safe, that'll give us... Nope, didn't want to come this way. Okay. The safe will hopefully give us the two missing chess pieces. And then we can put the chess pieces on the board. Maybe? Don't know. Right, so you can run away from her. That's good to know. Is she just going to be popping up in some random locations now then? Not entirely sure what I'm meant to be doing with these numbers either. Multiples of ten. Um, hmm. Oh, there was a piece of paper, wasn't there, at the beginning with the the different coloured... Right, okay, I think it's just an accumulative total of these numbers. That's what I'm thinking. I could be completely wrong. But, um, we need to crack that safe first. Let's try and go back to get to that safe. Go through the picture room. Yes. And let's hope the stinky girl isn't around. We don't like the stinky girl. Go away, stinky girl. Hmm. Stinky girl is more frustrating than anything else. Um, she's just an unnecessary hurdle. To get around. God damn it, stinky girl. You seem to be okay with me in this room. And I've led myself into a complete trap, haven't I? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, there's no way out of here, is there? Ah oh, I'm gonna have to wait for the stinky girl to go, or unless she's gonna kill me. Well, I can't get past her now, can I? Put myself into a trap. Maybe if I walk. I didn't even see her there. All right, we're going to try this one more time. Uh, we're going to try and crack that safe. So, the safe was round here. Right? No, I need to go this direction! <sighs> yeah. 
Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to run around in a goddamn circle, yeah? Come on after me. Come on. Are you just going to stand there now? Is that what's going to happen? You're not going to come after me. There we go. Right. Right, so the two numbers from... Don't know about the water yet. Yeah. I'm kind of thinking this is going to be a game that I DNF. Um, find the year of birth. 19, how, how am I going to find her year of birth? Add the two numbers found. Was there any information? The only thing that I had was the paper here. Did that give the day of her birth? The latest victim, Susanna Melton, a young woman, disappeared on July 4th, 1972. That's not the year of her birth. Let's go back to the shop. Because apparently there's two numbers in here, right? Well, these are all prices. Ah, okay. So, eight? Is that? Oh, I see. So, is it for the amount of water bottles that are in the... in the uh, basket? That's what I'm thinking. But then they're all priced differently, right? Some are four, some are five, some are seven. How do I... Hmm. We've got the blue paint here. Which I'm thinking is eight, so that's one number. So there's got to be another splotch of blue somewhere else, right? Right? I mean, I don't know. Otherwise, I'm just bringing random numbers. I can't see... Are there any other paint anywhere? Hmm. I just has the guess. And uh, Or is it the number of bottles? No, because they're all fairly... That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I'm guessing this one's eight. That's one of the numbers. But there's nothing... There's nothing that I can see that's shouting out at me. I could, I could be completely blind. And I'm just not seeing it. Hmm. Eight and something. Or is that the other number? Five. Eight and five? Is there five bottles there? Ooh, I don't know. Oh, it's a simple math question. I didn't even see the age there. God damn it. I didn't even see the age. Okay. So we've got one of these. <laughs> so, the blue carton must be her, right? And that would be 48. She was born in 1948. The house? I'm not sure what the house one is. The trees? I'm thinking... So, two... Two, one... Two. Twenty... Forty... Fifty... 70. So we've got two numbers. 
I don't know about the house symbol, and I don't know about the, well, the chess pieces, but I haven't seen any chess pieces yet. Unless they were in that room and I just completely missed them. Um, okay. <sighs> there you go guys I couldn't unfortunately finish it she kept on catching me and I was just getting uh, a bit frustrated about that that was Forbidden Tapes and that was the prologue entitled Missing um, I did enjoy the puzzles um, it took me a while to get my foggy brain around <laughs> around each of them um, yeah the water bottles I'm not sure if I had the right number there I don't know. I don't think I did. Um, the date of birth, yeah, I should have just easily seen that because it's just subtracting the 24s from the date that she went missing, um, which was then she was born in 1948. Um, the ones with the trees, I think I got them. I think that was 70. Uh, the other two, though, the chess pieces, and I don't even know what the other one was, really. Uh, we, did the, we did the paintings, but that didn't really give us a number, did it? Maybe it did, and I just didn't realize it. Anyway, I'll leave these in the links and description below, as always, and maybe you can beat the prologue and let me know what the numbers were. I got this game from Steam's Next Fest, where you can play a plethora of demos from upcoming games. Uh, but be quick, because Next Fest ends on June the 17th. So there you go, guys. Um, like or dislike the video. If you haven't already, please sub, because it will take keep that stinky girl away from me. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay ghoulish. Bye.